Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. This is going to be a very powerful week, considering we have a new moon and a solar eclipse. So, yeah, let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Cancer? What do the cards have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of December 14th through the 20th? This is an overall energy right here. What do we have for Cancer? Strength. Strength. So this is going to be a week where you are going to be gaining strength. Okay? You're going to need to have strength. Okay? Encourage. Um, it feels as though there's a victory here as well. Yeah, it's like a newfound victory or a newfound lease on life, perhaps. I feel like you're you're going to be experiencing some sort of um, new energy. It feels like it's a very new energy, a newfound confidence, um, a calmness. You know, it's just uh, it's a newfound happiness after after experiencing a setback. I think you've experienced a setback, but you have survived, and now it's a new lease on life. So this is a very, this is a card of, I can do anything, you know, I, I, I'm alive, I can do anything. So I think that this is an I can attitude. It's surviving after a, a serious setback. You, you have survived, you have survived and, and now you're moving on to better things, right? You've got a new outlook as well. Something has happened that has given you a new outlook. You don't see things the way that you used to see them anymore. I think you've experienced a major life event, okay? And I feel like this event has changed you, um, has changed your perception of reality. You know what I'm saying? So, no, oh, there it is. This is in regards to your love life. So maybe there's a separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It came flying out of the deck, okay? So, yeah. I mean, there could be a separation here um, from somebody that you are with. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be. But whatever is happening, I feel like it's for the best. Um, I feel like you're just not the same person that you used to be. You're not. All right? I think that, and maybe this separation was the life event. It could have already happened that I spoke of that has changed you. I, I feel like you have um, overcome something life-changing, put it that way. You have overcome something and you are stronger for it, a lot stronger. Um, They're flipping. I'm going to take those. Desk. Pay attention to your work. Vulture. Depression. Anxiety. Worry that someone is against you. So you may be worried. That, and there may be somebody. Maybe it is. Maybe there is somebody against you. Maybe it's somebody that you have separated from. Or maybe you're just worried about it. Um, you really need to pay attention to your work this week. Remember who you are. Remember how far you've come. I think you have come a very, very long way. It, it feels like you've been in a debilitative state, you know, where you've been debil debilitated, you know, and now you're, you're, you're up and running again. Okay. Um, so what do we have for cancer? It's a week of, uh, being in your power, you know, taking taking your power back, being in control, mastering your emotions, uh, finding the courage to overcome an obstacle. You are, you are, or I think you already have. You may have already overcome this obstacle. The obstacle could be a separation. There could be a separation this week, you know, but I feel like if there is, it may make you happy in the long run, okay, because there's a lot of happiness here. Oh, the moon, the moon reverse. So there's some sort of uh, reveal, some sort of something that has been hidden is going to be revealed. Okay. 
Um, it's going to be shown clearly. There's no hiding. You can't, somebody can't hide the truth. The truth is going to be revealed. It could be from a partner. Maybe it's what you've been worried about, what you've been depressed about. of pentacles this is a change now this is a this is a release of fear and this is a release of fear so i'm wondering if somebody is releasing fear you know letting go of fear letting go of restraint i feel like well there is restraint here there's still some sort of restraint you may be restraining yourself from uh or you may be being restrained it could be either way uh doing something Somebody is restrained or restricted in some way. There is some sort of restriction here for you. But this is a change. There is going to be a change. There's a need to be flexible. There's going to be a need to adapt. You're going to need to adapt to some sort of change this week. You're going to need to be strong. You are. You will survive. You will survive. So there's, there's some sort of... Uh, separation, whether it's with a partner or whoever it's with, I don't know who it's with, you will survive. Somebody's been in a deep, dark place, okay? They've been in a deep, dark place, but they're coming out of it, okay? This is like from darkness to light. There is going to be a change. This is like a profit and a loss. So there is a profit and a loss here as well. It's like, yeah, you may lose something, but you're going to gain something in return. So this is a week of needing to be flexible, needing to be strong, needing to uh, have perseverance, and recognizing that you will survive whatever this separation is. Now, the moon can be the past. So it could be somebody from the past, you know. This is survival mode. Seven of wands reversed. Nine of cups reversed. And the King of Cups reverse. So somebody is stepping down. They're giving up. They are giving up um, right here. They're giving up on a situation that is not leading to wish fulfillment. Okay. There's 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 secrets. Okay. There's a lack of success. There's something that is being overlooked. There may not there was a lack of getting praise. Somebody's not getting any praise. There's a lot of pessimism, a lot of negativity. We may have somebody here that is that is, is miserable. I'm I'm just being honest with you. There's 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 unhappiness. There this is like devastated. So I feel like I feel like there's some sort of devastation here. Feelings. Somebody is feelings. They're not feeling loved. They're not getting the love or they're not in love or they're not even emotionally available. Somebody may not be emotionally available. Um So this is the King of Cups in reverse is somebody that is not emotionally available, that is secretive and withdrawn, that has been fighting a lot, but they're feeling defeated. They they don't they're giving up. They're giving up on on fighting. You know, they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to do this anymore. There's been a lot of competition. Um too too many things, too many um too much opposition. Somebody's been dealing with too much opposition. They've have too many uh, people pointing at them. There's, there could be a social disaster here as well, you know. Uh, we definitely have somebody here that is overwhelmed. They're not happy. They're dissatisfied. They're emotionally withdrawn. Shutting down emotionally. There could be some addictions. We may have somebody here that has a lot of addictions. Maybe it's a drinking problem. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. Um, but there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of love being reciprocated. Somebody's not feeling loved. And I feel like they are ready for a change. Now, this is very, very, very dissatisfied and unhappy. 
this is like something turning into a nightmare. Something may have turned into a nightmare. This could be like uh, and yeah, mirroring the moon reversed. Absolutely. These are both both resemble nightmares. You know, maybe somebody's having nightmares or this is a nightmare. It's like it's unbelievable. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just telling you what the cards say. Get prepared for a change. Okay, you're going to need to adapt to something. I feel like some sort of truth is going to come out about, I don't know, maybe it's a person. I don't know. Maybe this person had some mental health issues or it doesn't have to be. Maybe it's just an addiction. But there is some sort of alignment that is coming. It's probably a realignment with this two of pentacles. There's going to be a separation. There's going to be a change. There's been some lies with that moon card. There's been some lies. There's been some deception. The deception is going to be revealed. The truth is going to be revealed. Somebody has been hiding. They've been hiding their feelings. And the truth is going to be revealed. It's, it's, it's going to be clear to see that this is that it's time for a change, okay? It's going to be very clear. Somebody is admitting defeat, you know? They they are worn down, they're stepping down. They they've they they may have lost their power or they're lost their energy to fight. No, they can't fight anymore. They don't want to fight anymore. They're shutting down emotionally. So we do have somebody here that is shutting down, giving up, giving up the fight and separating this whole lineup. Seriously. So there is definitely going to be a separation. And I don't know if it's somebody now this can this could go many different ways. You think I think it's somebody from the past or it could be somebody that you're with now. But there's a lot of uh it's a lack it's a, it's a nightmare. It turned out to be a nightmare. It's not wish fulfillment, put it that way. Somebody may have wished that they didn't uh make this mistake. You know? Emperor reversed and the eight of pentacles. So the emperor reverses could be criminal activity. This could be a narcissist, could be a tyrant. This is somebody that is very controlling, that deserts you, that uh, likes to be in control, likes to be, this person is power hungry, power crazed, um, disorganized, may engage in criminal behavior, only looks out for themselves, does not want responsibility. Um, doesn't, you know, likes to fight, but doesn't have any experience, uh, immature, not very wise, not very structured, not organized, doesn't play in things effectively, but likes to be in control. So this is somebody who is very, very controlling. Maybe above the law, may see themselves above the law. Could be dealing with a father figure or a very masculine energy. This is somebody who um, is power crazed. Maybe going overboard. Somebody may be going overboard. I don't know if it's an addiction. You know, I'm just saying somebody could go overboard with an addiction. This Eight of Pentacles is, is putting in effort in some way, putting in effort to change because this is a change. Be flexible. So we have somebody here that is working at something. They're trying to do something. They may be trying to prove something. Somebody may be trying to teach somebody a lesson. Because this is there's a teacher and a student here. So it feels like we have somebody that is trying to teach somebody something. Anyway, Cancer, this week you can expect a profound change. And I don't need the death card to see that. Something is going to be revealed that has... This is like... this is. I feel like it's, it's almost like... I mean, I hate to say it again, but it feels like it's a nightmare. It's like you, you, it is. 
you're going to need to adapt to something. A separation of some sort. And this is a true separation. Somebody may have been saving money. They may have been saving money to go someplace. They've been hiding money. This is hiding and this is this is money. Somebody may have been hiding money. Hmm. Anyhow, um Maybe you have to pay attention to your work and pay attention to your work here as well. Maybe you need to focus on your work instead of this other person, whoever this person is. You will survive this separation, whatever it is. This has been, there's been some sort of illusion, okay? But this is a wake-up call. This is a reality check. Somebody's been lying. They haven't been telling the truth about how they truly feel. But the truth is going to come out. There could be, this could be a massive fight. It could be. Where there's somebody just can't do it anymore. This is the, I can't, you know, they give up their position. It's like, yeah, I'm walking away. I'm not. You win. You win. This is like quitting. Somebody's quitting. Because they're not happy. They're not. These, these two, they're, somebody's not happy. This isn't love. It's not love. And there's been some falseness to it. There has. Somebody is finding their strength to see the truth as it is and accept a change. There could be some tears shed with the moon and the king of cups. Reverse. There definitely could be some tears shed. This is sad. And with the Nine of Cups, it's sad. May have something. It's a very masculine energy that is in control here. Maybe it's Mars energy. There could be a fight, you know, that causes somebody to um, maybe even bury their feelings in drugs or alcohol, and they could end up in trouble. Just being honest with you, they could, you know, they could end up. You know, if I remember I said at the beginning something about a tower moment, you know, a fated event. You know, so there I feel like there is gonna be a fated event and I don't need the tower card. I can I can tell by this wheelchair. There is going to be a change. And it is going to change your percep perception if it hasn't already. It may have already you may have already become enlightened. You may have you may have already experienced this and you know have decided to give up on somebody that doesn't reciprocate in love because there's a lack of reciprocation in love here so anyway cancer i feel like this is a week of change okay i feel like it's a re reality check in regards to a separation i feel like you need to really focus on your work focus on yourself focus on your your inner strength and your ability to adapt because you are going to be adapting to a separation. Okay? If you and you, maybe it's the same one, I don't know. But you will survive, you will prevail, and you will be happy again. All right? So this is a week of I mean, that moon reverse is a reality check. Seeing something absolutely clearly. We'll get one more card. Str 
paint the reversed. Oh my God. We get the, we get the first card and the last card. Unbelievable. So this is, this is being in your emotions. I know you're going to be emotional. This is going to be an emotional week. It is. You, 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 you may, you may have a hard time controlling your emotions. There's some sort of despair here or depression or feeling inadequate, feeling like you did something wrong. But I don't think you did. I don't think you did. I feel like whoever you were dealing with was lying to you, okay? Because this is the lies. They were lying to you from the beginning, Somebody has brought down your self-esteem. They have brought down your self-confidence. They have put you down. You need to take your power back. They have taken your power away. Somebody has taken your, your power away. This, we have somebody here that is very, very, very controlling. Whoever, whoever you're dealing with lacks respect for others. And this reading can go vice versa. We have somebody here that lacks respect for others and has been controlling another person with blackmail. It's like emotional blackmail. Very, very controlling energy. Um... But this is taking back your power. This is a week where you regain, you regain your, your strength. You regain your self-confidence. You start to anyway, if you haven't already. Maybe you have and you reach that point where this is a new life. It is a new life. This is a new beginning. I'm alive. I've survived. You will survive. You will survive this separation, whatever it is. You will need to be strong. You will need to you will definitely need to be strong. So yeah. This is this is a this is a big week of change. Okay? There's going to be a separation. Period. Or there has been. Good luck.